it, it, I, I was struck. It's sort of like there in the south. It, there's always this kind of yeah. We know it's white supremacy, but how would we talk about like there being in in some of these tribes this kind of looking down on on African Americans? I mean, it, you have kind of a notion of like. I mean, we can't call it white supremacy, right? Uh, no, I suppose not. Um, I guess it's like how we how we think of racism, and there are multiple schools of thought. I mean, I, I know, I guess one is um, Ibram Kendi's is like anyone can be racist. Mm -hmm. which I'm not sure I necessarily agree with that because the institutions in these tribal governments are not the same. And they, um, until really the late 1800s, they still allow for certain degrees of, um, of adoption of black and mixed race people and of kind of ways of incorporating them into um, their tribe and into their culture that is not present in kind of white societies. So it's a, such a different context and yet the way you see racism deployed is often very similar, um, especially for people who are like large scale plantation owners and have really kind of taken on the trappings of Euro American culture. But that is not every native person. Like there are plenty of native people who don't believe in acculturation, um, believe that uh, anti-blackness, believe that slavery uh, is becoming too much like the white man. And so they fight back against that. 